and diabetes. And I guess that sort of flows on to why it can be beneficial and it's out the, the calcium excitability. Um, depression and Hi, everybody, and welcome to the Kidney Coach YouTube channel. I am naturopath Fiona Chin, co-founder of Kidney Coach and co-author of the Kidney Disease Solution. And I'm joined today by the amazing Emily Carhill. Why don't we start by talking about what taurine is? Um, and yeah, you start there and then we'll, we'll just, we'll go through and see what comes up. <laughs> okay. So taurine is, um, is an amino acid. It's classified as a semi-essential amino acid, which means that uh, we get it from food, but we can also um, make it from some of our other amino acids in the body. Um, and it's got a lot of benefits and a lot of use when it comes to cardiovascular disease um, and diabetes. And I guess that sort of flows on to why it can be beneficial for the kidney disease as well. But I guess some of its main actions are that it's an antioxidant. Um, and hopefully you've watched some of our other videos and you know why we love antioxidants and how beneficial they are for kidney disease, cardiovascular disease, um, pretty much most chronic health conditions. Um, it can help to lower cholesterol, can help to lower blood pressure, um, actually can reduce the risk of cardiovascular disease. Um, it's got actions of improving insulin sensitivity and in, um, increasing insulin secretion. So it can be beneficial for blood sugar levels. And one of the things that I really like touring for um, is its uh, role with stress. Um, so it is sort of <coughs> considered an inhibitory um, amino acid. And so what I mean by that is that it can help with uh, dampening, I guess, down stress levels and increase some of our neurotransmitters that are really important for relaxation. Um, so things like GABA and can also help with reducing adrenaline. So um, which you might know as epinephrine. Um, so adrenaline and noradrenaline or epinephrine and norepinephrine are um, secreted in times of stress. Um, they've got a number of different actions in the body, but they can do things like increase blood pressure because it causes our blood vessels to constrict, makes your heart go really fast, can give you the tremors a little bit. So um, taurine can help with reducing um, sort of those, you know, physical, I guess, signs of stress as well in the body. Yeah, and I think I said that in the blog that I wrote, I didn't actually go right into the stress mechanism, but that, you know, if you're diagnosed with a chronic disease, like chronic kidney disease, you're going to, you know, stress is part of part, part and parcel of what goes with it. And then obviously having high blood pressure and then that whole feedback loop that goes on. And that's where taurine is actually really amazing because it works via, um, now I think the technical word for it is it down regulates the uh, renal afferent sympathetic tone which means that when we get stressed and everything that emily said is we pump out more of um, epinephrine and norepinephrine or um, in australia we know them as adrenaline and uh, noradrenaline and they cause vasoconstriction in the endothelial tissue which makes your blood pressure go up and what taurine does is it actually reduces the sympathetic tone meaning it relaxes that uh, endothelial tissue which then causes vasodilation which uh, then helps to lower blood pressure so it's got a really an amazing mechanism that way um, and as we know the little blood vessels that go through the kidneys and things like that can be really quite prone to this uh, intracellular increased blood pressure and so taurine has a very special mechanism of down regulating blood pressure via the renal tubules and and the endothelial tissue inside the kidneys and that in itself is quite kidney protective because then what we're doing is we're getting a better um, quality of blood flow through the kidney tissue which means then you're getting more oxygen and all nutrients into the kidney tissue so you're going to enhance and accelerate healing and all of those kind of little things as well that I don't think I mentioned in my blog but that's all part of that whole mechanism of how taurine works so it's really great that way. How would you know that you're deficient in taurine mm -hmm. apart from having a blood test? Yeah and I think that's um, one of that you know I can't even for me as a practitioner, having someone in front of me assessing taurine deficiency wouldn't be first on my um, on my mind. So oh. um, I think it's one of those things that is going to be, you know, really difficult for people to assess if they are deficient, apart from knowing that they, you know, depending on their diet and um, and if they've got any of those health conditions that we know that it can um, can reduce it. But 
some of the symptoms can be um, problems with vision. Um, mm -hmm. So, because it's important for our eye health, high blood pressure. So, as we said, obviously it lowers blood pressure. Um, because it also uh, has an action in terms of um, how calcium works in the body. So things like muscle pain after exercise mm -hmm. um, or um, muscle cramps or things like that. So where, because um, it helps to balance out the, the calcium excitability. Mm -hmm. um, depression and anxiety. So it can help with some of our neurotransmitters that are useful for mood. It can help sort of calm the brain down as well. Um, weight gain is a symptom of taurine deficiency just because it's low mm. in energy metabolism which again wouldn't be where my my mind would go um, and problems with the thyroid as well yeah they seem like really uh general sort of ones and it's funny because there is no my understanding and i'm going to have a look at my pathology test but i've never seen a straight taurine plasma test and it seems to be a plasma test we have to do not a blood so if you are interested in testing taurine, it seems to be all the research is done on blood plasma versus red blood cell. Um, I know you can do it in like a great big um, um, amino acid profile, but you know, they're like three, $400 profiles to see what your taurine levels are. I don't know whether you can just do a straight standard. Can you please test my taurine doctor? So, um, and again, like you, it's taurine deficiency isn't, one of the first things that you think about again unless if i had someone in front of me and i'm thinking okay they've put on weight they've got diabetes and they've got some neuropathy and maybe they're a bit depressed and anxious i might put them on touring but i may not be testing for it so it's definitely one yeah that it's going to be more in the forefront of my mind now hopefully you found this information useful if you have any comments or questions make sure you pop them in the links below in the comment section below and i will get to them um and remember to hit subscribe because if you hit subscribe anytime Emily and I put out new content, you'll get notified about that. If you want any more information about the kidney disease solution, head over to www.kidneycoach.com and there you'll find everything that we're all about there. If you need to email us or if you're doing the kidney disease solution and you're now thinking about adding taurine into your protocol and you want to know if it's safe with medications, you can hit us up at support at kidneycoach.com and Emily or the amazing Rachel, who's also a fully qualified naturopath, someone will get back to you and answer those questions for you. Emily, thank you again for your time today. Thank you everyone for watching and being part of our community. We really uh, value and cherish you. If you like the video, give us a like and we will see you next time.